Life Lost Tube. Welcome back. This is episode 14 of Cats and Horror and Stitching, and I'm Caitlin. My pronouns are she, her, and happy Father's Day. It is June 18th, I believe it was the 18th, um, that is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, and happy Father's Day to anybody who is having a hard time on Father's Day. It's not just like Mother's Day, not everybody wants to or is able to celebrate this day. Um, I'm one of them, really, uh, so my dad passed away a few years ago. So Father's Day is not what it used to be, but I hope you're having a good day, whatever you happen to be doing. So uh, <laughs> anyways, on to other things. Yeah, so welcome back. Um, there's been a lot going on in the last two weeks. Uh, I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment. So if you watched my last Floss Tube, uh, at the very end, I talked about my love for Night Spirit Studios and um, the fact that uh, Sage, who is the creator and creative mind behind Night Spirit Studios, is undergoing um, some difficult health battles right now. And uh, I asked everyone who watched the video if they're uh, a Night Spirit Studio lover like me uh, to just show her some love, maybe visit her shop, her Etsy shop or her, her online shop and maybe buy a pattern or two or three or more. Um, yeah, so after I filmed that video, I put her around the house thinking about it and you know, um, I have people that watch my videos, obviously, I'm not talking to myself, although, I mean, it wouldn't make much of a difference if I was talking to myself, because I do talk to myself when I'm alone, but, um, I think people watch my videos, uh, but I don't have a huge follower following, um, same with Instagram, I have, you know, people see my pictures, but I don't have a large quantity of people that I interact with, so, uh, I just thought, you know, it'd be really nice if, the message of, of showing the love to Sage could reach farther than my my reach is. Um, so after <laughs> hooming and hawing about it for a bit, I uh, thought up some of the floss tubers that I watch. Uh, I came up with kind of a list based on floss tubers I watch that either I know for sure have done Night Spirit Studio patterns before or else if I haven't specifically seen them do a Night Spirit Studio pattern from seeing their videos, the Night Spirit Studio patterns seemed like they would be their jam. Um, so I made a, a kind of a list of a random grouping of floss tubers and I contacted them all together on Instagram and I just sent a little message and I said, hey, you know, this is what I set up my video. Um, I don't have a ton of followers and I, I think it'd be really nice if a lot of people could reach out and do this for, for Sage and, you know, um, show the love. If you could, if you want to, maybe you could say on your floss tube or on your Instagram and encourage people to do the same. Just, you know, I just wanted as many people as possible to get get the, the message, basically. Um, and I was really nervous about sending that because the group, uh, all, all the floss tubers that I picked, um, some of them are quite, you know, they're, they're celebrity floss tubers in you know, the floss tube world. And I was a little nervous about reaching out to them because um, I'm a you know, classic overthinker. <laughs> so I, you know, typed up my little message, sent it off, put my phone away, not gonna think about it you know, and, but they were all great and everybody just immediately, almost immediately responded with definitely, we, we'd love to do that. And then the idea was thrown up of doing a sal for Sage and, and, you know, along with encouraging people to go and peruse her patterns. And so anyways, a whole lot of conversation going on with a group of wonderful floss tubers and we settled on uh, hashtag stitch for sage. Um, so if you're on Instagram, or actually if you're watching floss tube, you've probably seen a few people discuss it already because I'm a little bit behind the time since I only do a video every couple weeks. But yeah, so we started uh, 
the last Saturday is not yesterday, the, the uh, June the 10th, um, and just saying, hey, stitch anything from Sage's shop, from Night Spirit Studios, use the hashtag, let's show her some love. And I'm completely blown away by the amount of people that are participating. It's amazing. I, I am slightly obsessive with checking the hashtag every day to see all the new pictures. Um, seeing things that I have stitched before, so like in my bathroom I have her pattern uh, Don't Summon Spirits in the Bathroom, so seeing people stitching that. Um, seeing people stitch things patterns that I bought. Uh, seeing people stitching other patterns that now I'm like, okay, I'm adding that to my wish list because, you know, look at, that's so amazing, I need to get it for myself. Um, so yeah, so it's going really, really well and a byproduct of that has been becoming, I guess, friends with these floss tubers I now talk to kind of regularly over the last week, which is a little bizarre. I feel weird saying they're my friends because I still, you know, I haven't met them in person or anything, but um, yeah, they've all been really amazing. So there's a whole group of us that kind of initiated this and then a ton of other people that are doing it as well. Um, you might have seen on Floss TV people talking about it. There's um, Julie, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World, Michelle Bendy Stitchy, Jess from Cross Stitching Smiles, uh, Kaylee Tent Stitch, uh, Cam the Stitcher, Anna's Books and Stitches. <laughs> I think that's everybody. If I'm leaving somebody out, I'm really sorry. I feel like I should check my phone and make sure I'm not leaving anybody out. Um, yeah, so it's been amazing and uh, wonderful and I hope that Sage, Sage is feeling the love and I'm really enjoying stitching. So I ended up buying, well I think I believe it showed in my last floss tube the one that I chose. So I chose Witches and Demons Woodcut and I ended up ordering some really nice fabric. This is uh, hand dyed by you not sorry hand dyed by Rolanda it's uh she has an Etsy shop I think she might have also might also have her own um web page but I got it from Etsy it's an 18 count 16 count Ada and it's just sort of like a pinkish brown and yeah I'm doing demons demons and witches and this is what I've gotten so far uh if you follow me on Instagram so I'm also Cats and Horror and Stitches Oh My on Instagram, so you've seen some quite a bit of pictures of me working on this. It's a really easy stitch. Of course, having said that, last night I had to frog a whole bunch because I made a mistake. I wasn't paying attention, but <laughs> it is a really easy stitch and I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, and I'm really enjoying seeing what everybody else is stitching. So here we go, we'll show again. So it's really funny how, you know, you look at the picture and like the cross stitch pattern and it's kind of, you kind of can't see what it is at first and it's all in black so it's all the same symbol and then you start stitching and it's like, well look at that. <laughs> it does look like a picture. So, and there's my, my kitty Kruger tail minder. So anyways, yeah. I'm really enjoying stitching this. I'm loving seeing everybody's uh, progress on a variety of different, there's a lot of her woodcuts being done. A lot of people seem to be doing Unexpected Visitor, which is the one that Michelle Bendy is doing and absolutely powering through. <laughs> I can't believe how fast she's doing it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, there we go. And uh, uh, related to that topic, um, because I've gotten a shout out on several other floss tubers and Instagrammers uh, accounts in the last week because of this this sal, um, I've gained a lot of more followers on my Instagram and on my floss tube. So thank you to oh here comes Moon. She's coming to check out me, black cat checking out the witches. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so thank you for everybody who started following me over the last week. I'm amazed by the number of people that all of a sudden follow me. 
and I'm really enjoying it. I love interacting with people on Instagram. So yeah, follow me on Instagram and show me what you're stitching. I love seeing, and not just what you're stitching, I love seeing what people are watching and I love seeing what people are reading and I love seeing pictures of cats. <laughs> Show me your cats or your pets, dogs too. I love all animals, really. I have three cats, but I do love all animals. So show me your animals. Anyways, so we are gonna keep uh, Stitch for Sage going, I don't know, indefinitely, as long as people wanna do it. So check out her Etsy or her webpage, find a pattern that you like and start stitching. Join us on Instagram. So there we go. So that was my main whip over the last two weeks. So I started that on June 10th, so I haven't worked on it today. So I've worked on it for about seven days. So it's pretty good for seven days. It's not the only thing that I worked on though. I did want to get um, a bit of other stuff done. So my other whip that I worked on is my The Martian. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be getting this done for the July 1st long weekend, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to more than likely see my friend before her birthday in August. So as long as I get it done before then. So this is The Martian. So I'm getting pretty close. I finished the two, two pages. The top is split between two pages and then it goes to about here, I think. Yeah. So I'm really close. I'm getting there and there's a lot of solid in the bottom. So it's going to go fast. I'm cut my piece of Ada because it was really, really large and it was starting to really annoy me. But now the piece is slightly too small to fit comfortably, comfortably in my Q-snap. So it's kind of annoying to stitch on now. <laughs> I'm slightly regretting my decision, but I don't have far to go. So I have the bottom and then I have the words at the top and yeah. It's really good it's going really, fa really fast and uh i it's on 14 count gridded ada from millions of stitches which is a toronto-based uh, etsy shop and they're really great for cross stitching supplies and if you live particularly if you live in ontario they're very very quick to deliver so yes check them out So then we have this one. I think I worked on this one. I'm kind of trying to remember. I always have a hard time remembering what I've worked on since my last video. Uh, I think I've worked on this since the last video, uh, just based on what it looks like now compared to my last picture of it on Instagram. So this is my tiny modernist. Oh, I got DMC flying everywhere. This is my tiny modernist tapestry and this is what I got. So last time you saw it, it had the flower and the butterfly and the leaves and so I really have not done very much. I've started here which is, uh, I think it's a little tulip. So yeah, so this is my one and only linen piece that I'm actually quite enjoying stitching on, which surprised me. but. Yeah, and this is some beautiful uh, linen Ada called Boom, 28 count linen. Linen Ada, what am I talking about? <laughs> linen, 28 count linen from uh, Kaylee Tent St Stitches shop, um, the sewing shop. Uh, although I didn't get this from her online shop, I got it when I was at um, Stitch North at the beginning of May. So yeah, uh, it's quite a big piece. That's why I made this grime guard a couple years ago and it's too thick. It just doesn't work, um, but it's, it's working well to kind of hold my excess fabric. So that's what I'm using it as. So anyways, so yeah, not much different on that one, but I did work on it a tiny bit and I will get back to it. We go and then my last whip this one I only pulled out yesterday I felt like watching a movie uh, and of course I felt like watching a horror movie so I ended up putting on a movie called The Empty Man which was okay 
Most of the movie was okay. The ending was kind of dumb. Um, it was on Disney Plus, but because I wanted to work on or wanted to look at a horror that watch it. <sighs> I can't speak. Because I wanted to watch a horror movie, I decided to work on my chopping mall. So the last time you saw this was in March, I believe. Yes, March, because that's when the sixth screen movie came out and I did Ghostface here. So I started working on this one, which is, um, it's called Sawyer Sewing. Sawyer is the bad guy from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. So it's a little, it's a little sewing shop. Um, I didn't get very much done. So this was just last night and a, a tiny bit this morning, but yeah, I really would like to get this done. If I say I'm going to get it done this year, that's not going to happen. I would like to get this done maybe by the end of 2024 so that I can frame it and hang it up. That would be really nice. Uh, this is a witchy stitcher piece. Uh, it's a sal that is well, well, well over. <laughs> but I'm still behind. Um, yeah, so it is just on some 14 count Ada. Uh, it's sort of like an antique, antique looking Ada that I got from Michael's. And yeah, so it's coming along. Um, we'll see. When we get probably the end of the summer, I'll get more back into the uh, spooky stuff as we get closer to Halloween. I was watching Cam the Stitcher and she was talking about how as soon as, I guess it's Independence Day in, in uh, the States, as soon as Independence Day is over, she starts decorating for Halloween. I was like, okay, well, you win. <laughs> I don't decorate that early. I wait till the end of the summer. September 1st is when I start putting out some of my Halloween decor. Um, sort of when the leaves start to change, that's when I'm like, oh, kids go back to school, the leaves start to change, Halloween stuff can come out. Um, but yeah, <laughs> she wins. <laughs> I do have spooky stuff year round. You can see my art is always kind of spooky. My pillow over here. Um, but like my legit Halloween decor that I put away, it doesn't come out till at least September 1st. So yeah. Anyway, so that's all my whips. I didn't work on a ton. Like I said, I pretty much was focused on the Stitch for Sage. Um, now I have a little bit of haul, again, not a ton. Um, so when I ordered, or when I bought my pattern for the Stitch for Sage, I also bought some other stuff. Um, and one thing has arrived and one thing has not yet. I'm sure it will come eventually, not a big deal. Um, but this is awesome. I did post a picture of this on my Instagram. I had to get this. How amazing is this? <laughs> oh, I wish I could have it with all my different cats, like three different ones. But so there's Moon. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, this arrived last week and um, I framed it up. Although this frame is not great because I have it hanging on the wall and it's got this thing on it. So I need another frame, I think. But it's adorable. I <laughs> love it. So, yeah. So that was one of my little pieces of haul. Uh, the other one, I think, well, I bought this last week. Um, I was watching Cam the Stitcher's Kit Parade. That was a very extensive <laughs> video. And I saw, I believe it was on this, on that video, she showed this pattern and I was like, I need to. I need to own this pattern. So I did not know this existed. This is a Lindy Stitches pattern. My printer cut off down here. This is Emily's house. And I guess this is was sort of a co coordinated effort, a pattern done by Lindy Stitches. And it's supposed to be um, Emily C from a collective possessions dream house. And this is also kind of 
I feel like if I was gonna have a dream house, this would be pretty close. And I really love it. And I like the coat too. So yeah, I was like, okay, I need to have that. So I went and purchased it, went to print it out, printed it the front, the cover page, and then my printer ran out of ink. So, which is fine. I have the pattern saved. And I'm probably not gonna be starting it anytime soon, but I do have it. So if you can't, so yeah. So the, the quote is, speak for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the right, for the rights of all who are destitute, which I also really like. So yeah, I definitely wanna do this. I don't know when we will add it to the pile, but this seems kind of spooky. Maybe this will be another spooky start for the fall. Yeah, so, and this last little thing, I found this this morning at Value Village. I've been wanting to get some kind of a holder or stand or something so that I could potentially do a Stitch With Me video in the future, um, but they're really expensive online and I just happened to be at Value Village and I found this. So it's a little, you know, attached to the table, attached to your whatever, whatever you happen to be wanting to hold on to. For me, it would be a cross stitch. And yeah, and it was $3, $3. Stuff like this is like 20, 30, 40, you know, whatever dollars online. So, or in, in a big box store so yeah always check the thrift store if you want something always check the thrift store thrift store so if you would like me to do a stitch with me um, it's kind of been on my mind to do one would you watch it would you want to see me stitch something uh, and chat and if you do what would you want to chat about or want me to chat about and what would you want to see me work on what uh, pattern would you want me to stitch for my stitch with me so you can mention that below this is a really short video um, I don't have a ton to show but thank you for watching uh, comment below tell me well tell me what you would want me to stitch if you would watch a stitch with me and comment below and tell me are you doing a stitch for sage and what pattern did you pick? What are you working on? Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Thank you to everybody new who's following me and everybody who's not new that was following me before. It's so great to talk to everybody and, and you know, meet <laughs> everyone online. Um, have a great time. Until next time, happy stitching. Bye.